Thank you for joining us on Mother's Day weekend. At the Wisconsin Women's Health Foundation, we are dedicated to improving the health and wellness of women and moms statewide. Seeing as that it's Mother's Day weekend, we decided to ask some local experts what they think about the importance of women's health. When they don't eat vegetables, they're sick. Why do you need your mom to be healthy? Because she does so much for me. And she helps me when I get hurt and when I get sick. Because this I want my mom to be alive and dry. I want my mom to be healthy. She can play with me. I want no, I want her to be no dead. And I want her to be alive for a long, long time. Well said. We want all those same things for Wisconsin women too. And we are spreading that message statewide. Here's Tammy, a nurse who teaches our Grapevine women's health classes in her rural community. They have all been very well received. The women don't have a access in rural communities to all of the resources that you do in a larger urban area and it's wonderful to have this small group opportunity to ask questions and to really learn more about healthcare. We empower women with information to make healthy choices that are realistic for them. We focus on issues affecting Wisconsin women and issues that impact women differently than men. We provide services and education to over 8,000 women each year. For example, our staff meet with women postpartum in their homes to help them quit smoking and stay smoke free. My name is Callie uh, and I have three children, 16, 11, and then my daughter is 13 months. And my quit date is August 13th, 2013. I initially started smoking when I was like 12 years old. Everybody smokes. I don't know why I wish for that. Like, they're all smokers. Yeah. My father smoked, um, and I think so I grew up with that. But, like, there's six of us, brothers and sisters, four smoke. I clicked with Nicole right away. Um, and the fact that I was just really, really comfortable with her. So it was nice to be able to trust her and work with her and not feel judged, feel very supported. And I think for this program, I think that's huge, the way you guys have somebody in place so much, especially in the beginning, because that's when it is hard. And um, she was instrumental in me quitting. So I think the biggest thing, regardless of the struggle or the good, the bad, every, every day I felt empowered. We've had the privilege to serve over 16,000 women who, like Callie, received help quitting smoking through our First Breath program. We've also had the privilege of helping hundreds of women each year who need financial assistance or help accessing breast health services. Breast cancer is still far too common, but we are working to help women cope with diagnosis and treatment. We are so grateful for the support we've received from you over the last 17 years. Your generosity on Mother's Day and throughout the year allows this important work to continue. Like our president and founder, Sue Ann always says, it all begins with a healthy woman. Thanks again for your support and happy Mother's Day.